What is up? <gasps> Go fit. Oh, I'm Jenny Del Pozo, and I'm so excited to be here today. So today, I want to give you a full-on core light up fire it off workout. So with that said, go ahead and grab your GoFit ab ball. It will give you so much more to really focus on and work in that core. So this one's gonna be a quick time core crunch workout for you. All you need is your mat. I have my summit mat out. Grab your ab ball, have some water nearby, and let's go ahead and get started. So what I want you to do is lie down onto your mat. And go ahead and just hug your legs in towards your chest and just rock side to side. Maybe you've been sitting in a chair or on the couch for a little while. And it feels good to actually lie down on a harder surface. And just kind of just let your body melt in towards your mat. Notice if there's any little, you know, tension on one side versus the other. Try to just let it all go as much as you can. Okay, let's get to this work. Go ahead and take your ab ball and then place it between your inner thighs. So think there, instead of placing it by the knees, really bring it by those upper inner thighs and then press your palms down into the mat. Walk your feet in so the heels are right underneath your knees. And then from here, all I want you to do is just press into the ball and release. You press and release. And you're keeping a nice neutral spine. So you have that nice little breath of air underneath the low back. Your neutral spine is kind of just how you are when you're standing up versus, I'll show you here, it's easy to want to tuck and press into the ball, but I really want you to find the length in your body. Find that little space underneath your back. And anytime that we can connect to those upper inner thighs, it's going to connect you to your lower abdominals. So you'll start to feel just kind of this nice little zip up into the core too. Good, go for four, three, go two. Last one, hug and hold onto the ball. Then little presses in, in, in. So now they're just super small. You can like barely see anything happening in my legs, but we know we feel that work. Press, press, press. Here we go, go for eight. Press, press for six. Collarbones nice and wide still. Go four, three, two, one, go ahead and walk the legs out a little further now. Hands go palm over palm behind the nape of the neck. Then from here, curl the head and chest up and down. Curl it up and down. So you're working this nice scoop and down. Lift and lower. And you just have a little hug on the ball. We're gonna add on to that in a second though. Now as you curl up, Add a little press and release as you lower. Press, release. Get that nice curl. <sighs> oh, it feels so good. Can you start to feel that nice connection? Upper inner thighs to the lower abs. Give me four more. Whew. Three. Go for two. Last one, hug and hold. Little crunches up and up. You've got this up and up, keep hugging on the ball, up. And try to really let your ha hands, let your like hold onto the head. So the head gets to rest into your hands, up and up versus pulling on the neck. Or sometimes the hands come here and it's not even supporting the head. Rest your head into your hands. <sighs> Go four, three, two, stay curled up. Now float your legs up to tabletop. Give me heels together. Obviously the knees will stay apart since we've got the ball. So now it's more of a diamond shape. Give a little hug onto the ball still, then tap the toes down, lift up. You tap and up. Now we're doing a lot of core and we're like just getting started, right? So if you want to come into like a little diamond shape with the hands, you could place it underneath your tailbone tush area. And that can just help support the low back if it's starting to feel anything there. You could also rest the head down if you ever need to right there. Plenty of options to still really feel this core. Every day is gonna be different. Some days I'm like, ugh, I just think I was like a little too much tension and stress in my neck, so it feels good to rest the head down. That's great, that's okay. Go for two more, two. Last one, hold it up there, little crunches up again, and up, oh yes, up, and up. You've got it, reach, up, lift, up, go eight. 
Go six, go four, three, two, stay curled up, hug it on the ball, press, press. Oh, you're staying curled up here. Hands could always come onto the thigh bones to help curl you up a little higher. Good, eight more. Go six, go four, three, two, one. Hug it in, rest it down, rock side to side. Whew. Ah. Then from here, we did a lot of just curling up. So we're gonna keep working core, but let's just change it up, okay? That's the beauty of the work that we always do together. We're gonna like take it right to that edge of like, I don't know if I can do any more crunches. Then we change it up, we do work, still focusing on the abs, but just in a different position. Position so that way you're not losing your form. That's the beauty of this work. Okay, so now the ball is gonna still stay between those upper inner thighs. We're gonna hit a plank. We're gonna hit a high plank with the shoulders right over the wrist. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press into your like fingertips a little bit more. Now, if the wrists bother you, you can always come onto the forearms and do all this work right here. So whatever works better in your body, take it and go there. Just know the knees down is always a great option. You can untuck the toes and you can just hold a plank today. If you're like, I wanna focus on that, Jenny, I'm not mad at that. From here, I want you to do a little tiny tucks of your tailbone. So it's just a little tuck and tuck. Easy to do on the forearms too, tuck, tuck. Tuck, still feel the inner thighs hugging that ball. Lots of work, lots of energy. <sighs> Tuck, and you can see these are really small, small work right here. Give me eight more, a little tuck of the tailbone. For six, four, three, two, hold it right there. Press into that ball, hold it for four. Hold it for three, for two, and one. Drop the knees down, shake it out a little there. Then from there, we're gonna do knee taps. So again, you can go high plank or forearms. You're gonna come back up into that plank wherever you're at. Then the knees are gonna tap down and up. Tap them down and up. And I want you to feel like the knees are pulling in towards you versus just straight down towards the mat. And again, feel free to just hold a plank if you're like, Jenny, that feels great right there. Five more, four, feeling that core for three, Two, last one, hold your plank nice and strong for five. Feel the abs pull in and up, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, shake it out. Whew. All right, let's come back down onto the mat. And I love this variation for abs to really focus and work on the hold of the core, really focusing on the transverse abs, the deepest layer of your abdominal wall with this series here. And you get to get this nice traction on like almost like opening in your low back. So what I want you to do is lie down onto your mat, lift your hips up and then place the ball underneath your tailbone tush area. Then press the palms down into the mat. Then from here, float your legs up to a tabletop and you'll notice, ooh, a little like wobbliness happens. That's the whole point of the ab ball. That instability that you have to really find your stabilizer muscles to work off of. Now, there's obviously a gap between you and the mat, so you're just trying to pull the ribs down towards the mat, collarbones wide still. Then from here, it's your single leg stretch. So keep one knee in, extend the other leg out, and then just switch. You switch and switch. And you just want to feel, again, the abs pull in and up. Press your palms down into the mat. So days that I'm like, I just don't want to feel like, like flexion is that crunching motion of the body, right? We did it earlier. There's days where it feels good to really just keep the spine long and work right here. So you've got that option, four. And it's great to just add into your great work that we're doing today. Three, go for two. One more set, then bend both legs in. Feel the ribs pulled down again, double leg stretch. Lengthen your legs out to your challenging angle. Now, if you're used to doing this movement, when you're curled up, the legs might go a little lower. But remember, we're keeping the neck neutral, relaxed, then you bend the legs back in. Inhale, reach, feel the abs pull in. Exhale, pull back in. Reach it and in. 
reach and in. Go for three and two. Last one, bend it in. Reach the legs straight up towards the sky. This is your scissors. Reach one leg towards you as the other leg lowers down to a nice low V position. Then that top leg's gonna do a nice little kick, kick. Then scissor switch the legs. Other leg does that kick, kick, switch. Kick, kick, switch. And then try not to let the bottom leg do too much bouncing. It's really that top leg that I want you to focus on. Kick, kick. Go for four, collarbones wide again. Press the palms down into the mat. Three. Go for two. Last set, one and one. Then both legs come up right to 90 degrees. Heels together, toes apart. Now we work your lower lift. I want you to lower your legs down for three, two, one. Lift up in one count. Again, three, two, one, up in one. Inhale as you lower. And then as you exhale, you come up in one count and then stop the legs at 90. It's going to be easy to want to bring them in further. Uh -uh, you keep them right there. Three, two, one, up. Two more. Three, two, one, up. Last one here. And up, then bend the legs in, lower the feet down. And then it feels really good to get off of your ab ball after a second right there. So a great way to connect and like get out of the hip flexors, the quads with that series. Let's finish off your ab series though with your crisscross. So you bring the legs in, bring the ball onto one thigh bone, like right below the knee toward onto the thigh and the opposite elbow will come onto the ball. Then the other leg can either stay at tabletop it can also lower down. That feels like really good to really focus on this work or it can lengthen out. So find your spot that you wanna challenge this and then we just crush the ab ball. So I want you to curl up and crush it and in and in. So I'm using my elbow, also use the knee. That's gonna again, fire off those, that core and those abs, those lower abs. Then maybe you float the leg off. See how it feels today. Anchor both hips down still though too. Whew. So good here, go eight. Go six, go four, three, two, hold it. Squeeze that ball for four, three, two, one. Lower it down. We go into that second side. Opposite leg, opposite elbow. Hands behind the head, both hands behind. Bottom leg can either stay down or it could float up. Let's crush it. Here we go. In and in. Ha. <sighs> Press in, in. Here we go for eight, for six, four, three, two. Hug and hold it. Then lengthen the other leg out, maybe. Just hold it. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold it for five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Bring both elbows, both knees onto the ball. What? And just hug and hold it. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep breathing, though. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Lower it down. <sighs> Go ahead and lengthen everything out. Give it a nice stretch right there. <sighs> then flip on over to your stomach. Let's give it a little stretch. You did a lot of great core work today. And this just feels good to do after all of that. So you're gonna place the palms onto the ball, lengthen the legs out nice and long, and then feel your abs still pull in and up away from the mat. Then start to lift the head and chest up as you start to bend through your spine, open up that spine. And then reach as you lower back down. Again, lift. And reach and lower. One more like that. Feel that spine open up, relax the glutes as much as you can. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. And reach as you lower. Then slowly press yourself back up. Take a seat. Sit cross-legged. 
take the ball onto one side, then roll the ball out as you reach up and over, get that nice side bend stretch. Draw the shoulders down. Maybe you look up to underneath the shoulder or underneath the arm, I should say, to really have those ribs try to face up towards the sky as much as possible. Then reach out to lift up, other side. Reach the ball away, up and over. Feel your hips still anchored down towards your mat. And then look up. Oh, it gives a little extra stretch. And reach out to lift up. Roll the shoulders back. And that core should be feeling amazing after that work with your GoFit ab ball. Nice work. I'm Jenny Del Pozo. Remember, we always train, recover, repeat. So we gotta take care of that body. We work it hard, we gotta give it that recovery too. Grab your, ro go, your go roller, grab your roller, grab your ice rollers too. Oh, that, would sound, that sounds so good right now. So take that with you each and every single day. And I cannot wait to sweat with you again soon. Nice job, go fit. You.